Detect these footprints on the planet Mars. Be formally welcome to this new documentary. If it is the first time, I introduce myself. I am the engineer Hidakel Morrison and I appreciate you decide to see this educational content. In this new installment, which we promise will be interesting and exciting, we will explain these high-resolution images of the surface of the planet Mars, where footprints captured from space by an important orbiter studying the geology and climate of the red planet were identified. From an engineer's perspective, we start. The Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, this important multi-purpose spacecraft that since 2005 monitors and studies the surface of the planet Mars, was the one that, with its powerful high-resolution cameras, managed to capture hundreds of kilometers away these images where they were detected footprints, in a set of photographs obtained on March 11, 2022 at an altitude of 288 kilometers. The camera called the High Resolution Imaging Science Experiment is mounted aboard the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter spacecraft and through detailed observation has been able to examine potential landing zones for future Mars surface missions and transmissions. For these, the orbiter orbits about 316 kilometers above the surface of Mars. At this altitude, images of Mars can be taken with a resolution of 0.3 meters slash pixel, about one foot, so objects less than a meter wide can be displayed. With this kind of power, the ship can permanently monitor the planet Mars. Let's find out, below, the explanation and all the details of this image, revealing what the traces that were detected correspond to. But first, I ask you to support us by liking this video, sharing this video with your contacts, and subscribing to this channel, turning on notifications, so with your support, we can continue to frequently generate interesting documentaries on aerospace technology. And the universe, thank you for contributing to the creation of educational content. Searching for traces of life on Mars is the permanent great objective of the exploration mission sent to the Red Planet. This publication of the European Space Agency of August 22, 2022 is really revolutionary, of great importance and historic scientific value. It unveils the new water map of Mars, which will be invaluable for future explorations of the Red Planet and provides new elements that bring the arrival of the first astronauts to Mars ever closer. This map was achieved thanks to a technology known as the Visible and Infrared Mineralogical Mapping Spectrometer of the European Probe and the Visible and Near Infrared Spectrometer of the American Probe, which combined managed to detect deposits of aqueous minerals throughout the planet, and create a detailed map with all of them as explained by the European Space Agency. This is the global map of hydrated minerals on Mars. Additionally, this map of minerals rich in water in the Ezero Crater was revealed. In addition to the map of minerals rich in water in a Martian region called Oxyoplanum. What these maps record means that these are rock regions that interacted with the water, generating various types of clay, the so-called smectite and vermiculite that are formed with small amounts of water, which means that this type of clay retains most of its original chemical elements, iron and magnesium. But other types of clays have also been mapped in areas where there was a greater interaction with water in the past, where soluble elements tend to be washed away, and aluminum-rich clays such as kaolin could be identified. Researchers from both space agencies have been in for a big surprise. Some of these minerals are present on Mars, and in generous amounts. A decade ago we believed that there were about 1,000 outcrops, but with the new map we have identified hundreds of thousands in many places. In addition to these new aqueous findings from Martian orbit, on the surface the robots continue to identify possible traces of life on Mars, like this one released by NASA while the rover Curiosity Explorer robot explored under the dust in a Martian rock. The NASA took this image of a rocky surface that had been brushed with the rover's dust removal tool to look for footprints of ancient microbial life, something that has not yet been able to wean itself on the surface, something that recent scientific research explains due to radiation, which, according to new research results, destroys possible traces of life on the surface of Mars. Searching for traces of life on Mars is the great objective of missions to the Red Planet, but according to this new study, solar radiation destroys the biomolecular signatures of the Martian surface, although not those that are hidden in the inner layers of the planet. Until now, the vast majority of the biological samples obtained by the rovers are from superficial regions of the Martian substrate or regolith where the biomolecular signatures are undetectable after a few years of being subjected to ultraviolet radiation. 
Therefore, if there had been life on Mars, detectable thanks to biomarkers on the surface, they would have to have been extremely resistant to ultraviolet radiation, which is very unlikely, details the scientific research. Emphasizing that there are many possibilities of identifying biomolecules or biomarkers in areas not directly exposed to radiation, such as in underground areas or in niches that are protected, such as caves, or even inside rocks, where endolithic organisms live, which are those types of organisms that live within a rock, coral, exoskeleton, or in the pores between the mineral grains of a rock. This important study concludes that to be successful in identifying the traces of life on Mars, a future explorer robot equipped with a drill will be needed to drill up to 2 meters below the Martian surface where solar radiation does not reach, with which there would be high chances of finding biomarkers or bioindicators of life under the surface of Mars, if it existed in the past. Unfortunately, in the case of the rover Perseverance, which searches for surface samples, the identification of biomarkers is not assured, something really unfortunate that does not take away from the contributions that have already been achieved with the Perseverance and the importance of bringing samples from the planet to compare them with meteorites or in testing technology for future exploration. But with very low passivities to identify traces of life in these samples, due to the already explained effect of radiation. What do you think of these interesting and revolutionary findings? I read them in the comments of this documentary. Remember that I always read them.
As usual, we appreciate you informing us. It is a real pleasure to be able to provide you with the main news, trends and developments about the most important aspects of aerospace technology and the universe from the perspective of an engineer. I am the engineer Hitakel Morrison and I invite you to meet again in a future installment.